morning, everybody. Morning. Where the hell have you been? What do you mean? I've been waiting forever. We were on hiatus. You haven't been here the whole time, have you? Uh -huh. What's a hiatus? That's why it's been so quiet. I thought you guys were hiding. Level three. I'm really, really thirsty. What is going to happen? It's 2020, everybody. 2020, I can it's see. It's level three. Here we go. I can see so much better. Are you doing, are you getting down on the whole dad jokes of the 2020? The No, no, I don't have dad jokes. I only have good jokes. There's um, great dad jokes that, that are good jokes. They really aren't. They really a, aren't. By definition, I believe a dad joke is, I mean, if you have a joke and you're a dad, it's not a dad joke. Dad jokes is supposed to be like, ha, ah, yeah, mm, ha, ha, my pants. Yeah, mm -mm. that's mm -mm. me. PJ asked, we were getting everything set up, and he was like, does anybody, he's the gray with the... Oh, yeah. Mm, a, that guy. Smells yeah. of Canadian syrup. dude, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, he said, uh, does anybody have any triple A's? And I said, why, do you have a flat? <laughs> Thank you. I thought it was funny. I think you just proved my point right there. I like that. That's a good joke. It's a, a terrible. Joke. No, it's a terrible, <laughs> it's a terrible joke. joke. But somehow, under the auspices of fatherhood, it becomes a better joke. A dad joke, I believe, if I were making a definition, is mm. where you 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 believe that a pun in any way, shape, or form is humorous. It is. Oh. No, they're clever. Puns, by my definition, are clever, but they're not necessarily humorous. It's not like I've never heard a pun and just been like, I just. Like. <laughs> 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 uh, oh! <laughs> because oh, already, already with the. Uh, I have to do that. I have to clear my, my sinuses. What is it? Is that does that clear? I don't know. Oh, I have a uh, I have a big tip for everybody for twenty uh, for twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is this is a big deal. You know when you write on a check, let's say uh, January thirtieth, twenty twenty. You 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 like one thirty twenty uh, or thirty one twenty if you're in Europe. Uh, they are now saying, the experts out in the ether, that you should not just put 20. You should put the full 2020 because there are scammers who will take check or something. Instead of, I could say it's 13020, they'll put 19 or they'll put 21. For what purpose? Re, to recash it or there's all kinds of things. Holding you, onto that check if for you're, a year. If you're, if whatever, if they find it in a dump, but you should well, you should literally because because if you what know what is the difference if one thirty nineteen or one thirty eighteen you know nobody's gonna uh, this check is eighteen thirty seven doesn't matter but what if a bank uh, if I, I put twenty and someone comes in ha 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 they write eighteen it's like you've been holding on this check for two years or just now cashing it automatically I just read about like scammers can take like uh, that, that they could put, take a check and say let's say you have mortgage or something and it's like uh, or or you're paying your loan shark or your bookie or your pimp. Uh, with a check, because, you know, QuickBooks now, it makes it easy. Whores, <laughs> hey, hookers, <laughs> male and female, whores alike, Uncle Noli, 2020. Minutes. What you want to do is you want to wait 2020 on checks and things. Mm. You can look deeper into it. I suggest everybody else look it up, Google it, whatever you need to do. That's how you're going to thwart these, the, the nefarious Scam. scammers is, is by going, I completed the date, ha ha ha. Now what can you do to this check? Better safe First than sorry. First of all, how about this? Better safe than sorry. Who is still writing checks? Who, I haven't, I don't think I even have a checkbook. Oh, <gasps> you're not. Come on, man, bill pay? I would rather. I do bill pay, but some people like a check. Some people, you and my wife, those are the only two people. My bookie. In your bookie and your hookers. Bookie, Booker and Hooker. Booker and Hooker, there's a great TJ show Booker. The air. <laughs> TJ Booker. TJ Bye. Booker. Need to take your money. There's a guy oh, backslap. who runs books and one who. This is. Sucks crooks. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. I don't know.
I don't know. That, that would be like TGIF. No, that would wow. be TGIF. What would that be? That would be like NBC. Like, remember, what was the, what was the show? <laughs> Not Heart to Heart. What was the one where... Still like Heart to Heart. I said it I. I used to watch that with my grandparents. You know, the, uh, Mercedes-Benz 500 SL. Is Weren't they really, they were really married, too. They were really married in real life, yeah. real life seats. Now, what was yeah. the one where <clears throat> they were both cops? First sip of the new year. Is this? Yep. A nice cup. What show am I thinking of? They were cops. Uh, male, female? What? Yes, male, female. She had dark hair, curly hair. Oh. Remington Steel? No, 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 no. There's Bros Gnome. They fell in love. It was that classic thing, but it was like the names. It was like Hammer and Hammer or. I don't think that was a different one. Play dirty. Bring it on. I'm Jim Adler. The Texas Hammer! That was legitimately... That was two dudes, and they stopped fighting crime when they learned they could hammer and hammer. Oh. No. <laughs> um, what was the name of that show? Welcome Hunter! To ha! Retro Hunter! Retro Replay, everybody. Oh, man. One of my favorite <clears throat> shows. Did you ever watch... Hunter is... Uh, Do you remember these guys? By the way, Hunter, that dude... Remember those guys? Professional football, I believe he played. Yeah, he should have done that. He just should have stayed doing that. Who was the actress? Oh my gosh, Hunter. And Why are you looking this up? That is the job Rick of Hunter Drew Spine, Jay Drew. Sorry, what well, he did. Is that. he still here, Drew? Are you still here, Drew? Sergeant Rick Hunter and his colleague Dee Dee McCall. <laughs> Who was the actor? Uh, the actor is Fred Dreyer. Mm -hmm. Fred Durst. Fred Dreyer, who played, I believe. No, 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 wait. Like that was the, that was the executive producer. <gasps> he wasn't the producer. Yes, he was. The, Fred Dreyer was that was. I th believe Fred Dreyer was also played for the L.A. Rams. I think. Um, hold on, cast. It's American Football Kids. Ready for the football? A Monday night party. Come on, what is it? Why is there in it? And who was the uh, who was the actress? His co-star, Dee Dee McCall. That was the that character was the name. Character's name. What's Boy, the she was name? pretty. Stephanie Kramer of Kramer and Kramer fam. I think uh, James Whitmore Jr. I think we're, we're definitely making all our fans out there, all the, the, the replayers, Michael Cap comfortable knowing that nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. What about this? What about Matt Houston? You remember Matt Houston? Matt Houston was one of my favorite shows growing up. Matt, what are we doing? Matt Houston. Do you remember that show? I, I, I remember the name, but I don't remember the show. Dude, I, man, Matt Houston. Wait, wait, what was the show that kicked us all off? Uh, Heart to Heart or the other one? Hunter. No, no, what was the first one? Did you just say Gunter? <laughs> Gunter was a completely no. different show. No, no, no. Uh, Only aired in the UK for about two episodes. Oh no, I don't remember. What Come was the on, one we man. started with? With with Come on. Stud. Stud. Matt Houston. Is that the poor man's Tom Selleck? Kinda. Well, did that Wealthy tell Texan? Me that tell me that didn't come after Magnum PI. Can we bring up? It would have been. Uh, at, it would have to be. Uh, you know, Drew. Let's show a picture that he just showed me of Matt Houston. First of all, uh, who is that guy? What's his name? Uh, oh my gosh, what was his handsome name? fella? Handsome fella. His name was Lee Horsley. Did yes, I remember Lee Horsley. Pamela Hensley. So, Lee Horsley. This would have been '82 because Magnum PI started in '81. This was absolutely so literally scrambling because <clears throat> because yeah. uh, Magnum PI. We was need a 80s. handsome man with a mustache. <laughs> oh man, wealthy Texan moves to California to run the family business and dabble in crime solving. We had the greatest shows. We were spoiled in the '80s. We had you amazing know, shows. I, I agree with that. Okay, I, this is how we're gonna, this is how we're gonna things? start the. No, this is where we're gonna start the year. No, because no, I want to stick with something. Please. The the face of like network television, primetime network television, yes. it's all procedural. It's like, get me a cop show, get me a, a, a hospital show. Right. It's all the same. It's like now she's a judge and now he's a judge. And this it's everything's it's but it's literally just like somebody hit the shuffle. Rinse and button. Repeat. Back then, I mean, there was some camp to it. There was some fun, sure. and there was some I mean I mean, I remember Fantasy Island. I mean Bro. some of these a uh, love boat, I mean some of the Matt Houston, that's that's a great pull. A great pull. I haven't. I remember that. MacGyver, same thing. And the funny thing is, looking at it now with with my older brain, it's like, oh my god, that was their response to Magnum PI. One hundred percent. That's that's how it's always I never been. It's never going to change. Thank God for 
Netflix and streaming services, the places that'll go, let's do something <gasps> different. Is it on is it on streaming right now? Is Matt Houston on streaming? Because I might have to go. Are down. we just gonna go we're gonna I, download all the Matt Houston's? I don't I don't know if I wanna watch it because what I'm afraid of is that it's awful. Well, that's great. Lean into it. it do, but can you? It's like theater. Great theater is great. Abysmal theater is great. Why? The conversations. Like, you can sit there going, do you believe the shit we just watched? I, but the stuff that's kind of middling is kind of like, eh, I just, wait, I just no, no, lost no, no. days off my life. But if there's something that I grew up loving. Oh, I see what you're saying. And I don't want to ruin it. Like, I would never want to go, we've talked about Crystal's Pizza before. Mm. I would never want to go back to Crystal's Pizza now. It's gone, thank God. But I would not want to go back to Crystal's Pizza because Crystal's Pizza was the place where I went and played games like Dragon's Lair. Yes. Don Bluth's. Boom, boom, boom. That was very good. Surgical. That was very good. That was very good. You've been practicing. Dude, I'm on fire right now. There's just... It's good, right? It, it wasn't. You know what? The funny thing is, I love the fact that we're, you know, we get through the holidays. That's great. But one of the other reasons that uh, th this hiatus is always great, and now here we are on thirtieth uh, of January, and we're starting level three, and it's like January to me. Mm. It's kind of like mm. grapefruit sorbet. It's kind of a palate cleanser. Mm -hmm. I get through the holidays, then January is kind of like. It's kind of like, okay. When did you, you know, start getting itchy? Because I started getting itchy like on the third. I was like. Yeah, well, no, I, yeah, you know, I think it was the sixth. Like, wasn't that a Monday? Sixth was a Monday. Yeah, I just, I go, I literally do like, I'm like, like I ain't shaving or cleaning myself for two days. That's my weekends. So oh. that Monday was like, okay, here we go. I need go. to take a shower. And then, but I, but I eased into it. And I kind of just, I kind of got my ducks in a row, so to speak. And yeah, I guess I have several. But you know, it's just you know, and then you kind of get settled. You kind of you start doing some stretching. Mm. You, you make your way to your first ever yoga class. Which <gasps> I took. What? How do you not lead with that? What? What? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was in traction for three days. No, no. 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 Come on. Incredibly painful. How did you not? Did you save that for the couch? Huh? We have an hour and a half drive, and you save that for the couch? Well, you never shut up. <gasps> drive down. Lies. Would you? Tell me about this. What? Yeah, I did. I did it, uh, and I found by yourself. Out. Did you and Jill? No, I went with my wife and uh, Coop, and Coop? my son. We we wanted to try it, and uh, it got really hot. Yeah, dude, it gets I, it, no, but it wasn't hot yoga. No, it doesn't matter. As I told Jill, I, I said after because at one point I had to step out. She said, "You can go into child's pose anytime you, you're not child's uncomfortable." Hard. And I got a child's pose, and then the instructor came down and like tried to push, push my back. hips down, and I was like, "Yeah, those don't." Those don't bend anymore there. Mm. And then at one point I was just like, uh, I can feel my intestines cooking. So I'm going to step out. And I did. And uh, went back in. Didn't give up. But, uh, Shavasana, that's a little and nap I, time. And I told, I told Jill after, I said, I didn't, you didn't tell me it was going to be hot yoga. She goes, that's not hot yoga. I said, that room was well over 100 degrees. She goes, mm. yeah, hot yoga gets way hotter. And I'm like, true story. Well, that's just vomit inducing. No. Uh, first of all, I don't believe, Bikram yoga, if you practice Bikram yoga, great. I, I I believe that all that heat should be internally. You're cooking already. You don't need the room to be hot. And I know a lot of people oh. have gotten injured because they think they can be more flexible than they really are. I'm. What did you think? Are you going to go back? Oh, absolutely. But 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 it was funny because it, it kind of just woke up things. Yeah. Because I, I think at the end of the last year we talked about like I'd had that massage and I said yeah I was working out and it really hurt and they said uh, the therapist said I think you really don't take on a strength program again until you get flexible again yeah, first yeah. because it's just you're just it's counterintuitive and uh yeah i mean if if there's any serious advice i give to anybody do it while you're young stay as flexible as possible Stretch. it's like it's ridiculous because yeah. i i have been doing that more and then uh yeah and i'm not too far away from actually implementing the plan where i actually get to feel athletic and strong again but i love that. but i've been i've been it, the it was hard. I'm supposed to do it again uh, tomorrow. Probably do Tuesday, Thursday, and then hopefully Saturday. Try to get two to three days a week to start. Of yoga? Oh, yeah. But Bro. but the uh, I, I want to get to the point where I understand all the moves and everything because I want to get to that part where it's you, 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 you're concentrating on your breath rather than like looking to your right or left trying to figure out 
Uh, it is you are, no matter how many people are in that room with you, it is a class you are on your own. Yeah. It is just your, it is, the, the thing that I love about yoga is it forces me to not compare. Because if I do, and I look over, it's like, dude, how in the world is that person doing that pose? I'll never be able to do that. Yeah, I still compare. I, I'm looking at the guy next to me, he's a big, big hog of a guy, and he was just like, doing stuff and I'm like god bless you man how do you do it just huge dude and he was just if it's inspiring old, older it's guy okay. yeah and then there, there was there was the chump up front without the shirt on you know he, was like, he walked out and like he's like said yeah. namaste to everybody as they were yeah and he, and he yeah and he was like you you need to be punched you just need to be smacked but I was too weak and hot <laughs> at the time I was like mm. he's like oh yeah up top bro I'm like, I'm like oh, I bro, can't like, <laughs> yeah it was uh it was. Uh, I love. I love. I did this feel for later. You. I felt, you know, later. Take a shower and then later, you're like, ooh, that was a little activated, right? Yeah, but it's like it stirs up some stuff, man. Mm. It's uh, uh, it, it, physically, it, emotionally, what? Physically, physically, okay. I was just, you know, felt like my liver hurt. I'm like, I never for, remember to bring my. It just things. It just it flushes so much out. We you know, we talked about one this. thing, and then for three days, literally. Like sitting on the toilet hurt. It was just like ah. Yeah, dude, the hamstrings. Uh, we talked about this before, but like I uh, woke up this morning early. I love. We'll get to the point where the sun comes up earlier and goes down later and mm. stuff. But like right now, waking up at five forty-five. Super dark. Super dark. Super um, cold. I, I looked like someone fleeing the scene of a crime because I had like this black hoodie on and I was running. Uh, and I just did this. I did just a quick mile uh, in the morning. Nothing. Nothing crazy. Um, if you run less, you can do more. If you run more, you're awesome. But in the morning, I just do this quick little run. And there is something about Bruce Springsteen's Wrecking Ball that I am just like... Do you go through periods of like a, a song resonates with you when you're working out? Yes. And then, then you find another one? Yes. Into the Spider-Verse soundtrack is the, uh, the best... Yeah. The that. best workout playlist ever because it's chill when you need it to be and then it's also like let's go on other ones. Or I went old school and like pulled out some albums from like 92 that are like really like metal. Like I should not have listened to this and I do. And the second yeah. that I put it on, I was like, let's go. But Wrecking Ball to me is just this every <laughs> every time I do it, there's this point in the song where I'm just like, he goes, hard times come and hard times go and hard times come and hard times go and hard times come and hard times go just to come again. Bring on your wrecking ball. And hard times go and hard times come. I'm like, <sighs> oh, I just want, and I just explode. I just, I just fucking run as fast as I can. It, uh, it's awesome. I feel like exploding right now. Right now? Because I'm so excited about Don Bluth. That, that mine, mine was way more. I know, yours. but you, the problem organic. is you've made a perfect segue, and then we kind of just we talked about yoga. That's great. I know. It's a great thing to talk about. I, I wanted to know honestly how how you were. I fittest in my forties. That's my mantra. Fittest in my forties. I don't care about looking like a fitness model. I don't care about being yoked up. I just want to be fittest in my forties. I got a two year old, almost two year old boy that I got to be around for as healthy and as active as I can because he is already giving me a run for my money. The boy wants to do fit, stuff. Fit by 50. Love it. Fit by 50. Not for my kids. They're yeah. too old. Screw them. Just so my wife will stop crying when we have sex. Are you crying? What? No. You know so, what? What? I would be remiss if we didn't give a shout out <gasps> to Big Papa PJ for oh, come level on. three. We haven't even talked about this. I mean, Absolutely right. That man grew more gray hairs. Putting this, this looks dope. And look at this, the pictures. Mm -hmm. um, here's a great opportunity. Look at, that's our like star couple right there. That's right. Uh, they're Greg and the Sarah. Um, and Ashcan, Ashcan A, Ashcan, Ashcan, Ashcan. With just the, sh the shocked look of, of yeah. surprise. But they're joining us today. Um, our season premiere. Yeah, <gasps> we, season. Mm, level launch, season premiere. Ooh. Um, can we go ahead and give give some shout outs for some peoples? Yeah, we're yeah they oh. are the Retro Replay Power Couple, the Greg and Sarah, uh, Ashcan. Uh, those, those are our photos on the bar, if you guys see that. Yeah. Uh, you probably noticed that way before while Nolan was talking about <laughs> how to pay a hooker and, and child's pose. How about this? Uh, you guys kicking it off with Altered Beast Land. Altered Beast! Yeah. yeah. 
By the way, by the oh, way, great by the way. segue for this. What we were talking about before, yeah. <laughs> show that I couldn't believe was a show. Manimal. Manimal was a show. Manimal. Manimal was a show. <laughs> no. Manimal. Mm. Manimal uh, Gaming. Uh, Andrew L. Yep. Column O90, which is column S. Yeah. Zach Smith. Zach S. Dude, yeah. you guys they are up. incredible. Thank you so much for the soup. Uh, and then next level, Drew's soup level. We've got Cybercat Dan, Daniel M. Jacory, Stephanie Jacory, Dub. Stephanie. Jacory, it's cool, man. Body Bag. Body Bag, Anna H. Um, That's right. Here's we'll, we'll do some more of these here in a little bit, but for, for you, you six, uh, including our power couple back there, um, here's here's our shout out to you. You ready? Ah! Hope you enjoyed the shout out. Spas Ass. Spas Ass. Oh, hey, look at there. He's got orange on her feet. Yes, I know. I like that. I don't very understand much. why he has this in spite. Spas Ass. Space Ace. Hi, Space Ace. All right, so uh, you're gonna you're gonna play the game now. Here's the deal. Give it a shot. Uh, the gameplay it's uh, essentially identical to what was introduced in Dragon's Lair. Get it? Dragon Slayer, Dragon's Lair. It's a play on words, kids. The player has a joystick to select directions and a shoot button to perform actions. Animation plays up to a decision point at which time the player has a second or less to react before the game will branch to a new path or Ace will lose a life. Uh, oh, look at this. So you're gonna do, what do you want? You want, you're gonna change the difficulty. No, I don't. You're gonna go with Ace? Here's the deal with, the, there's three different difficulty levels which Probably. Dragon's Lair didn't have. Space Ace also introduced difficulty levels, Cadet, Captain, and Ace. Whereas Dragon's Lair had only one, the difficulty levels were, wow, it's tough to say, difficulty levels, were intended to make the game accessible to a wider audience. However, this was achieved by simply skipping over the more difficult sessions. Nearly half the available scenes are playable on Cadet, Roughly two thirds on Captain, forcing players to master the Ace difficulty to see all the content. Okay. Okay. So you get your so, direction controls. You get your gun, which is an X and a pause button, which is great. Which is always good. Time your moves to match the flashing indicator and fade to black. Here we go. Oh, so I'm. Whoa! Watching that there she the goes. Bottom. She gets stepped in, and, and you're gonna go. You gotta move. Already. 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 Oh oh. Buddy, oh, oh. look at you. Now I. I played Dragon Slayer. You can energize already? No, buddy. It, it told me to energize. 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 Gun, gun, gun. You're doing very well. You died. <laughs> Borf. Uh, I think my dog, which always looks like a cat. But that's going to go by Dang it. Um, I didn't. I can't really. Uh, okay, I just got to. I, I played Dragon Slayer, but I watched. Space Ace, because this was a, they did a cartoon series. Bye bye. Oh, I pushed. Lost a life. <laughs> um, <laughs> Come on. Already. Bank. There she goes. I want to go right. And then He's go right. Terrible shot. He's and like an Imperial Stormtrooper. Oh, did you do it? Whoa. You did it. You did energize. You did energize. So you're doing it harder? So you energize when you want to. Okay, you want you to. Hey. okay, I got on the ship. I got out. That's the game. Good night, Great everybody. Game, everybody. Let's go get some pizza and some. Hey, hey, it's good to see you. Build your you own Sunday girl. Build your own Sunday bar. What do you think this, this looks game? like wow. a. Dude, you're just shit. smoking this. Let me tell you something. The funny thing about it is this. I have the same problem with this game that I had last time. I don't get to watch it. I'm so focused on little triangles. Crap. <sighs> hey, you're doing up, left. I'm not going to tell you things. I'm not going to tell you things. I'm going to tell you things. I'm going to tell you things. Shoot that. Shoot that. We kicked off that. level two with this game, um, and it was so much fun. So I, I love that Drew brought this back, because it's, I love that we're, we're at the point where we have callbacks. Otherwise known as, I think, whip, whip, oh. whip, 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 Oh, why would a snake hit me on the head like that? Oh, that's so fast, man. man. This is the easy mode? This is hard. What child can do this? I don't want to meet the child with reflexes like this. It, I Anybody think... want a jello pudding? Ah!
Yo, Joe! G.I. Joe and Cobra are back in G.I. Joe, the war on Cobra! Will you join the Joes and fight for justice, or will you seek world domination with Cobra? The choice is yours. Ah, oh, G.I. Joe, War on Cobra is a free download and out now for both Android and iOS devices. And as G.I. Joe fans, we're excited to show you more about the latest title from the good people at D3. Go! Yes. That's right, whether you're a fan of the classic animated series, the iconic toy line, me, comics, or all of the above, G.I. Joe War on Cobra has something for everyone. This massive roster featuring the most beloved and infamous heroes, villains, and vehicles featured in the series. This is the thing when I grew up as a kid, I, we didn't have a lot of money, and so I had to make my own G.I. Joe, or I'd, sometimes I'd be Cobra, I'm not afraid to admit it, uh, but this is what I love. It's one of the seminal things from my childhood. Uh, and so this game is like putting me back in that space and allowing me to be on either side. Of I played war. Snow Job in the animated series. No, you series. didn't. No, you yes, did. I did. Did you really? Yeah. I got to play barbecue. I think it was barbecue. I got to play Snow Job. Did you really? Yeah. yeah. Good for you. I had a dog. <laughs> Once you've chosen your side, players will be introduced to the game's mechanics via Roadblock, of course, for Joes, or Baroness for Ooh. Cobra. Uh, you'll learn how to manage your base, units, vehicles, and engage in battles to help you get a feel for managing your troops. As you continue with the single-player campaign missions, more options for reinforcing your army with additional units, heroes, and vehicles begin to open up. Oh, but that is just the beginning. G.I. Joe Warren Cobra also features PvP and a ranked leaderboard. You need to fight hard for the, your faction, build out and defend your base strategically, strategically and master the art of directing troops to conquer your foes and in no time you will be an expert on making attacks from air, land, and sea. That all depends on the vehicles that you have. That's right. While you're here we have a special in-game gift from D3 Go as a token of appreciation for checking out G.I. Joe War on Cobra. We're giving away two free characters. Any mm -hmm. guesses? Snow job and his dog. <laughs> for all new players to help reinforce your army. Uh, Joes can look forward to picking up a free bazooka, the G.I. Joe missile specialist, while Cobra followers can add Missile Bat, uh, the battle android trooper, to their squad. In the meantime, don't forget that knowing is half the battle. Check out the description below or head to www.d3go.com slash retro replay <laughs> to download G.I. Joe Warren Cobra and receive your free gift for your mobile device. Go Joe! Yo Joe, go! I don't know. Aww. <laughs> He's a Cobra guy. I want to talk about Mandalorian. I want to bring the baby Clouser to me. A criminal thing for you to have. He's the creepiest dude, man. You know what I mean? I don't even understand. I, I have a whole, I have issues about Mandalorian. Uh, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, okay. I, oh, you know, no. Continues. Continues, but continues hold on. upon continues. Uh, hold on. And this is where we, it's a, you know, this show's all about the game. I, I, I press no, continue. Where is it? Hang. It's not yeah. about the game. Oh. It's actually very antithetical. Pause. Mm -hmm. um, Hi. Sure. <clears throat> sure, Lauren? sure, we can talk about, you know, Werner Herzog. I haven't watched episode eight. I want to bring the baby Clouser to here. Look at this Mandalorian. He's fantastic. Here's my only guy that makes me go. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. Sorry. Carl Weathers, Mando. <laughs> Every time I talk, I say Mando. Ah, Mando. I got super excited when I thought, I was like, oh, he got bit. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, shit. I root for his death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And baby Yoda walks up to him. He's like, He's trying to eat me. You're like, Ah, don't let him die. Don't let him die. He's great in Ram or Rambo and Rocky. Sure, he but, but he's great in Happy Go. Everything does. He does his, he puts his hands on his hips. He fists, hips, that thing. Mando, I was supposed to kill you, but I won't now. Mando! It's like, we get the name. Uh, Stop screaming It's actually Mando. not his name, though. It's actually no, like... No, but he keeps calling him Mando, but it's, it's like, I like saying Mando. Yeah, Can I say Mando? It's not his name. I know. So someone brought up a very interesting point. If it's Mandalorian, and we call him Mando for short. He's Irish. Does that mean it's Landolorian? <laughs> for Lando? Yeah. No, it didn't skip. Um, Have you finished Interesting it? thing. They said... Oh, I, yeah. I haven't finished it yet. I'm, okay, so... I'm up to seven episodes. Episode seven. one, cool. Two, I was like, okay. Three, I was like, yes. Really? Four, I went, okay, seven samurais. It's magnificent seven. Okay, I get it. Yeah, well, you're doing a one-off. That's fine. Then we went to episode five. What happened in episode five? 
Um, they pulled down their pants. They shit on some film, smeared it. Is this one Bill Burr? No, that's six. That's six. No, this was that's five. The, the five was, was the village. Was the, no five uh, was the sniper was Bobby Cannavale's son. Uh, played the you know he's up in the bar. Oh you know, yeah. Yeah, and it was just it was it was not yeah. it was not a strong episode. No. <clears throat> Only interesting thing that my son brought up mm. was at the end, and they never paid this off yet. Mm. At the end. Um, another Mandalorian shows up to, to take care of the uh, sniper. Yeah. And if you watch it, he has spurs like in the Old West. Ah. He walks. And apparently um, Boba, uh, Boba Fett was the only one who ever had those spurs. But they never allude to it. But another Mandalorian shows up with spurs, so they don't know. Then the Bill Burr episode. You get lonely up here, buddy? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Blue. He uh, was great. Had some friends. Uh, you know, Clancy Brown was in it and everything. But I thought the... Uh, I'm not going to talk about the performances because I think ultimately the director has to corral that. And then... Seven, eight, nine... I mean, through the end. Good? Home run. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm, okay, I'm, okay, I'm okay. back. Okay. And I'm, and I'm completely back. Okay, because right now I was like, all right, meh, on a little mm. bit. No, fully back. Okay. Fully back in. I thought it was, uh, no, no, on a season two. I'm just like, let's go. Well, they're definitely going to do that because Disney doesn't have much. <laughs> but I think I think Star Wars for me is is like pizza. It's like. It's always good? It, yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, but I like I sure it. don't want to eat it cold. No, I will eat it cold. Mm -mm. Yes, sir. I want piping hot. Fr man, pizza sounds good. Can we do pizza for lunch? I really don't need the yeah. bread and the cheese, but man, it sounds so it's good. It's only bread and cheese, but that's fun. Yeah. By the way, I am trying to slim down, so yeah. absolutely let's get pizza because uh, I, I I will I'll start tomorrow because <laughs> now I'm so hungry for pizza. I'm super hungry for pizza. What is that? Why can you talk about something? Like, I can talk about a burger, and you'd be like, yeah, I'll get one someday. But you pizza. talk about pizza, and it's like, no, I, I need to, I will kill a, <laughs> I will kill a puppy for, for a pizza. For a puppy. Not. Depends on what type of puppy. Yeah. Like I won't eat it, though. And nobody out there should eat dogs. Don't. <laughs> Breaking news, this important PSA is brought to you by Manscaped. Com. This is your pubic service announcement. More <laughs> after more than 18 months of research and development, the Manscaped engineering team has confirmed they have successfully created the greatest ball hair trimmer ever. This new trimmer was just released only moments ago, and we are the first to confirm the new and improved Lawnmower 3.0 manscaping trimmers now available for purchase. Did you see how we do the 3.0 so level so three, 3 level 3 3.0? Yes, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, this third generation manscape trimmer features a cutting edge <laughs> ceramic blade <gasps> to prevent manscaping accidents. Millions of balls are about to be nick free thanks to Manscaped's advanced skin safe technology. Yeah, I've loved Manscaped. Yeah, we, dude. We, we, these are our proud sponsor. We're, we're proud to push this because it's something we actually use. Uh, to keep uh, things tidy, clean, and, and so should you. True. I love the uh, the 2.0, and I don't know how they would Improve make it better, uh, but uh, it's it's amazing. So the battery lasts up to 90 minutes. 90 minutes. I don't think you need that long. If you do, you have oh huge God. testicles. You have you Not have even that, but there's just like you're being very very cautious, which is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, this they, they they say it's premium. It is it is premium. There's a new LED light. It's got like the red light. I often shave in the dark. <laughs> need, that. need um, that. Or in a cave. This is, it, but no, seriously, that that's actually, because I like, maybe getting a little personal. It just gives you precision. Yes, that's and you're able to do it a little bit more cautious, more careful, and more just illuminated. Who doesn't want to light that up? Make it a right. show. That's right. Uh, they've upgraded to a 7,000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology. Which is incidentally something you did when you were 15 and your parents were home. 7,000, wow. Quiet stroke. Uh, one of the main things I love about this, though, they got a charging stand because before it just kind of plugged in. That's very cool. Now there's a charging stand. You can show your mower off loud and proud because this intelligently designed stand is rapid charging dog powered by USB. Uh, if you're listening to me speak right now, good for you. You can hear and 
You're one of the very first people to hear about this life-changing product that I want you to experience firsthand for yourself. That's right. You get 20% off plus free shipping mm. when you use the code RETRO, R-E-T-R-O, -E at manscaped.com. Uh, and as always, your balls will thank you. Yep. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code RETRO at manscaped.com. Back to level three. Which I'm getting so hungry, by the way. I know, dude. That pizza thing kind of did me in a little bit. Oh, it's not good. You think you think you can actually get a good, good, a good pie? I think the last time that I had a good pizza was uh, at uh, in New York. Mr. McAllister, here's your very own cheese pizza. Seriously, that was the last time that I had. Last time I was in New York, John's. I went to John's Pizzeria. It's a. Uh, it's in the it's midtown. It's like the near the theater district. That's exactly where I went. Yeah. I went to go see Hades Town. It was so good. I'm crushing this. John's Pizza. There's, there's other places, and you know, it's 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 a very particular thing. Everybody loves their own pizza. But there's not a bad slice that you can get in. Uh, oh shoot! In um in New York. Wow, that was brutal. That was kind of unforgettable. Yeah, usually you can't. It's like bagels. You can get a bagel from a. You know, one of those carts on the street corner. I, I can't do street meat, man. I can't do street meat. I can't do street meat, but street bread. I, I know that I'm missing meal. out, and I know there's a lot of people that that's that's how they've lived. I can't. I had a friend who used to say the best cure for hangover was street meat and strawberry yoo-hoo. How, you, how, what? Yeah, he'd, you, get a, he'd, get, he'd go get like a, 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 like a sausage with peppers and everything, and then and a strawberry yoo-hoo. That's how he cured his hangover. He's dead now. Yeah, he's dead. You will do. Street meat and strawberry yoo-hoo. Yeah, but that's I didn't even know that strawberry yoo-hoo existed. Yeah, I don't think I needed to know that it existed. It's the pink one. Pink? Yeah. Strawberries aren't pink. Well, it depends. No, it doesn't. It never depends. Yeah. Yeah. I push the button. You will I make button go. I have one I more life. I push the button. We should have given ourselves way more life. We should have given like ourselves unlimited lives. I feel like uh, the, the villain here is 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 just the, the genie uh, from Aladdin it, with with a like if he were a wrestler when I think about his name though it makes me think of space balls like what's your name barf like your full name Bartholomew I'm the best man what's your name barf your full name Bartholomew dude I'm Wait, he's, this is Borf though right Borf not barf Borf what do we call him? I, I, barf is barf. It, barf if you don't know is a term for vomiting uh, Borf is that? also a term for vomiting if it's from the Nordic countries. Borf? Uh, I have to borf. Hi, Drew. Jens, I need to borf. Thing. Jens is borfing. I haven't heard you laugh all time, and he says the stu he tells a dad joke that's 100% a pun, and not even a good one, and you laugh. I don't understand you. Oh. This is about to get difficult. It, it is. <laughs> it's a simple mind. <laughs> it's the best. Oh, so that's it. My humor is too highbrow for you. Is that what it is? Understood. Thank you for that kind of compliment. Come on, I want to see you get past this one spot. I know, me too. I want to get past this one spot. I tell you what, uh, inspire me. We can, there's some people that do the lick the screen. Uh, we can give yes, a I can give oh, a shout out. I'm Bartholomew. Uh, yes, the lick the screen shout outs. Uh, first of all, going to Liam C. Liam Churchill. Uh, of, of, of Winston Churchill. Churchill fame. fame. <laughs> Uh, uh, Kendwick03, that's Kendra W. And Ian, how was your holiday? <laughs> that's a bad day. Those guys talking about my uh, Ian H, yeah, Ian Halliday. So they're the lick the screen level. We want to thank you for uh, the soup. Um, and uh, we, we use some of that soup to clean Drew up. Do you know where the lick the screen came from? You remember that, right? That was, that was aboard the Golden Hind. What? We were doing the pictures on the Golden Hind and. Uh, what's his name? Oh my gosh, I can't think of it right now! Oh, far out. Dang it. Um, so, lick the screen. I was like, what? I was like, that's the weirdest call out ever. It's like, lick the screen! Oh, that's right, lick the screen. Oh, you know what I was from. thinking of? So, lick me dead. Lick me Remember dead. Remember that? That was the season, uh, it was level one. Level one. I believe that was a level one uh, you trope. You want to set it up? I get it. I'm going to keep it. It's a keep my best. You'll my take punishment. your licks. How about this? Lick me dead. Or I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I didn't lick mean that. Me dead. I mean, that would be that'd be okay. <laughs> this is I, I, again. I enjoy watching someone else play this because 
when you play, all I'm doing is concentrating on the arrows. I don't even get to watch the visuals. Don Bluth, though, man, I'll, I'll kind of, there's something that, he's just kind of like a little warm blanket. He just puts me on and instantly I'm a kid again and I'm happy. Do you know what I like about it is, is his style. It's so specific, Don Bluth. Yeah, man. You know, the look and everything. Uh, reminds me of uh, another <sighs> Don from uh, Mad Magazine. Um, uh, oh, yeah, uh, Don. Uh, help me. They did the... Um, God, it was the first, that was the only thing I could draw. I used to be able to draw... Stephanie Newman? No, I used to be able to draw like, like Don... Five uh, five. Help me, what's his name? Don, uh, Don Martin. Don Martin used Don to... Don Lockwood? I'm singing in the rain. Don... <laughs> Do it. Don... Oh no. Hey, it's level three, right? Oh no. Level three. Oh no. Guess what? She's still a beautiful woman, your mother. She's still a beautiful woman. She ages like a fine wine or a cheese that uh, molds, but you can still eat it. Why are you laughing? Don't encourage him. Yeah! <laughs> Moldy cheese mama! <laughs> Hi, welcome to the big program. Today we're with Don Blue Spaces, moldy Troy Baker, Nola Dory, back on the couch. Here they are. I, moldy cheese mama sounds like an Almond Brothers song. Uh, you know what? I gotta be. I gotta be honest with you. I like cheese. Moldy uh, cheese. I don't mama. understand. Like when you, you what know, cheese? Like blue cheese, man. I can't do it. Oh. I, I'll do a cheddar. I, I'll do. I'll go with you with some some gouda. Uh, you know, like a like a good the hard cheeses, the Parmesans and the and the and, and the Romano, but. Man, I see people just sitting there, oh, licking their fingers with, with the the cheese that's blue. It's like that's mold. Blue cheese to me is proof that we're living in a simula simulation because only. Oh, fuck. I did it! I did it! I pushed you. Uh, it's only only aliens or whatever would put blue cheese in here and go. No, they're not going to eat that. Oh, they ate that. Oh huh, well. Yes. You're with me then. Simulation. Blue cheese is, is terrible. I don't understand. It's People like Roquefort blue cheese and Roquefort. It's like, that's mold. Dude, this is brutal. No, it's not. Are you a blue cheese fan? I knew Drew. You know, Drew, oh, by the way, so no. here's an update. Wait, are you a wing sauce fan too? Uh, Drew just uh, <laughs> announced that he is a he loves blue cheese and it tells me everything about everything it. Everything I need to know about That you. is somebody who doesn't know their own smell. That's what that tells me. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't know where I'm going with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, Dude, no, that's uh, the first thing that comes to mind. Like People that like wing they don't sauce. Know, they, they, when you can eat something that smells that bad, you're like a dog eating. Hey, um, uh, Skittles is eating the shit in the backyard. When I think about blue cheese, because it's kind of soft and great, because I've tried it. I'm not going to be someone who says, I don't like it. I've never I had it. Bless I've America. eaten it. And literally, it just, it, it, it smears. It, it pastes the inside of your mouth. And you think it smells bad on a plate? Put it in there. Put it in there. Ring that around with some of your, your filthy bacteria and your gums and shit. Here you go again. Oh! <sighs> Yeah, God, I'm not blue, a, cheese. I'm not kids. A blue cheese, kids. Hey, kids, three. Keep the cheese three for on three. the patty, or on this. Let's go with cheddar, American, Swiss, any of those ones. That's a normal cheese. Blue cheese is for suckers, and people who can't don't know they smell. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, now this makes me want to do this. On frame number 3,000, no, 32,163. So if you're shoot, if you're like 30 frames, that's an hour in, is that right? During the final battle between Borf and Ace, Borf is standing there without his pants. Well, Ow. why wouldn't you cover that up? A warrior has nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> um, we need to get there. Yeah, short-lived cartoon series based on Space Ace was produced in 1984. Wow, it was that long ago. Uh, composed really? of cartoon shorts based on current video games. Saturday Supercade cartoon block. Come on to Supercade and join all the Supercade fans. Space Ace voiced by Jim Piper. Dexter voiced by Sparky Marcus. That was not his baptized name. Kimberly voiced by it's Nancy Cartwright. Really? Bart Simpson? 
<laughs> and Commander Bor, voiced by Arthur Berghardt, who has a, as bad of a name as his character. Oh, I shoot stuff. This. Space Ace had the misfortune of hitting it in the center of the 8384 video game crash when consumer interest in the entire industry was noticeably suffering. I wonder what caused that. What came out in 8384? Who wasn't playing games in 8384? Stranger Things have been lying to us. I dump your ass. A few of the sequences, that's like right after, that's like, that's uh, that's like during uh, War Games. Shall we play a game? Oh. <laughs> so 83 to 84, video game crash. I know that, hmm, is that considered a crash? Wow. They used rotoscoping in this. So many facts about this Getting game. Getting closer to, to good frames. How do you know what the frames are? You're really better at this than I am. Because I can't Wait. watch it. That's the problem. Yeah. Just shooting stuff. How close to the end are we? This is like playing Simon Says. You've said that before. Did I? Yeah, recycling jokes. I don't, I don't, I, I didn't know it was a joke. I, I, I really. The pun? Is it clever? <laughs> no idea. Is, is it, uh, I see what you did yeah, there. Yeah, I brought it back. Oh. I, I pressed the gun when I should have gone up. Whenever you do something bad, you just fall. I you want to see There's no like a, a we're going to obliterate you. When you get shot, you fall. That's just, there's one death, one death animation that's fall. Do we really want to see his... His penis? Penis. It's Is like, it he's, he's big penis? blue, it's like Watchmen. <laughs> big blue penis. I fell off that show too. Wow. Oh, I went in a cellophane paper bag. Wow. Mm, but you fell. Falling is bad. Falling is hard on the knees. Falling in love is hard on the knees, according to Aerosmith. I heard that's true. Um, Space Ace features more dialogue than Dragon's Lair, so Bluth's studio did look for professional voice talent. In the end, to save money, they decided again to pull voices from within the studio. Hey, Phil? Phil. What? Are you, uh, are you busy? Are you, are you just, uh... What? Well, I was I was just working on the the outlets down here. Oh, good, good. Hey, buddy, could you put that screwdriver down? And uh, you want to be our main character? <laughs> what? No one's ever asked me to use my voice in a game before. And no one ever probably will. But hey, you know what? Today's your lucky day. Once you go ahead and how jump... much do I get paid? Or well, what are we paying you for the for the electrical work? Cupcakes. Then that's we're gonna get you more more cupcakes. Oh, I like what? Can I get double frosting? Well, we're gonna we're gonna kick that one upstairs and see what they say. But right I, now, I'll do it. I'll do it anyway. We've got it. We're in the middle of this video game crash. Moon pie, <laughs> moon pie. Let's not push our luck. And okay. please stay out of the break room. That's for employees, not contract workers. Um, I have eleven fingers. The, the simple jokes get you, don't they? The simple jokes. Not six five either. It's a <laughs> seven four combo. <laughs> one day I'll wear gloves. <laughs> Stupidest, stupidest thing ever. Oh my God. Hey everybody, what is going to happen? This, this is it. level three. And and it's, it's, it's the same. And one of my favorite things about having something that we can come back and do things like this. We always have the, the couple things that we can always rely on. Um, what is going to happen? What is going to happen is always a good one. Um, and your soup um, and of course. You making terrible jokes and doing this towards people's faces. Hey, everybody needs to know. Mm. Those bumps need to be checked. That's actually not... No, it's, you're right. Especially if they're weeping and open. Oh, okay. You could have kept it that. Um, we didn't finish the game, but that's okay. Don't do that. Um, we're back, bitches. Thank you guys so much for being on this ride with us. Level three, kicking it off. We ask you. What do we do next? If I push the gun button one more time when I'm supposed to go right, holy crap.